Hey, yo, what's up? This is Milk Bone, straight out of Jersey. Some of y'all might know me from back then. I first, I first started my career when I used to be with Biz and Cool V and just writing here and there, writing here and there, making demos. Then all of a sudden, Naughty caught wind of me and then Naughty by nature scooped me up and then threw me on Capitol and then after that, it was just over. I think my first biggest memory was when Eminem shouted me out on his album, Dissing Me. That was great, that was great. I mean, it helped me, I got mad as hell, but then I went at him and it's all music, man. I don't knock him. That dude hot, but that was my biggest memory. Somebody that big shouting me out, calling me out, I got something. I can't even answer that type of question because I've been on my own since I was a sophomore. He, everybody knows I've been doing everything on my own. So my family, my family never supported me, but they're not supposed to. I stopped doing it for damn near 20 years. I got, I got sick of the industry, sick of all the, all the BS surrounded by getting jerked and, and just the, just the, just the aggravation of it. And then my son was being born, so I was like, you know what? I'm putting all this in a shoebox and throwing it away. I don't want to do it no more. But then personal issues built me up inside and, and the creative creativity just stayed there. And I came back, did a hundred joints in one year and, and all the collabs that I got, Black Rob, Kara's One, Tretch, uh, uh, Joel Ortiz, Chino XL, all in, all in less than three weeks, man. The biggest challenge that, that I was able to overcome is time. You know, time, because somebody can do it for a year and then not be able to write nothing again, not be able to think nothing again because they're all out of it. That's that's not, that's not, I don't care if you're an artist or, or an MC, there's a difference. You got to be a person to be into this and, and say something. You got to say something. You got to have substance behind what you say. Otherwise, ain't nobody going to listen. I say my proudest moment is when I see my son re rehearsing some of my songs in the, in the mirror. What, even, it, it, was, it was even a new song. And I ain't even know the lyrics yet, but he knew them. He's sitting in the mirror bobbing his head, lip syncing to my stuff. I'm like, that's, 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 that's big to me. He wants me to do it, so I'm going to keep doing it. The only legacy that I think that I'm able to give anybody is just be real. Just don't do something because somebody else wants to hear it. Do something because you're able to experience it and go through it. And that's, that's the only thing I do. And any, any song I ever put out, any lyric that I ever write is, is, is coming from what me or my people have been through. You know, whether it's something funny, whether it's something serious, whether it's something whatever related, it's just don't don't do don't do something for for radio just because it's it's radio and it's gonna sell. Do it for radio if it's if it's you, and then it goes on. There. That's 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 my legacy because that's the only way I'm gonna do it.